I just wish I had five more minutes with him. I just wish I knew he was okay. I just wish I had the chance to tell him I loved him. I just wish I had the chance to say goodbye. I'm Teresa Roba, spiritual medium. They've asked me nothing about who I'm trying to connect with or, you know, why I want to connect with anybody. Yeah, just let, yeah, this is definitely a dad. When you didn't get to say your goodbyes, you want to be able to say some goodbyes. The one thing that I learned in this work, which is very profound for me and it's healing for me, is you never truly lose anybody. We are not a human being having a, a you know, a spiritual experience. We're actually a spirit having a human experience. And who's the W? Like Walter, William? Walter. Oh my dad. Who's Walter? Oh my dad. <laughs> He's giving me the four girls. And uh, do you have one son? Yes. Okay, <laughs> say, come on. Like I talk to them like I'd be talking to you. But it's all going on inside my mind. He just wants you to know that even if he was in the hospital in front of everybody, nobody could have stopped this. He told me he felt you right there holding his hand and walking him in and, and cr helping him cross over. To know that, you know, when Teresa said, he knew you were there, he knows you love him, that actually gave me a piece that I can't even, I can't even describe. How do you get out of here? <laughs> Not very mechanical. I can talk to the dead, but I can't open a door. I live a normal life. I'm a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a mother-in-law, and a friend. I'm, I'm happily married to a wonderful man. He's downstairs. <laughs> I gotta start over. He asked me to marry him two weeks after we met. And I said, what are you, crazy? <laughs> I did. <laughs> then a week later, he asked me again, and I said, yes. And a year later, we were married, and I had my son, Anthony, and then my other son, Andrew, and then a little girl, Elisa, and I had the perfect life. My mom, to me, was, you know, typical mom, you know, drove me to football practice, baseball practice, made dinner, and woke me up for school. I mean, it was a typical thing. Life was good, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> this happened, and it didn't fit. And then energy hit me in the back of the head, and I knew, I don't know how I knew, but I knew I got a gift. I knew it was going to change my life, I knew it was going to help people, but I didn't know what it was. You know, the work began right after that. It didn't waste any time. I started just going to Walmart and reading people in Walmart, and, and everywhere I went, something was happening. Well, I do feel like someone either got, um, either committed suicide, hung themselves, shot themselves. Who's R, like Rick or Robert, to you? My, my nephew Raymond. Raymond? Shot Is that himself in shot, the head. Him, shot himself in the head? Thank you. He's like, I would say, like either from like 20 to 26. He was a young man. He's not a kid. 24. 24, okay. Definitely a suicide. He did not get shot by someone, he did it himself. He was like our adopted son. When he left us, that was a huge shock. Now, I've let that go, and I've been holding on to that for 17 years. You have your father passed. Is this your mother? Is this your, because yes. your dad's hitting on her. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to let you know that he knows that you helped him cross over. Do you understand? There's a feeling of not being able to talk to him. He wants you to know that he saw and heard everything. He's talking about working on the Cadillac or... The, a real old classic car. He always bought these hunks of junk and called them <laughs> classics. Classic. Classic. Yeah. He was 67 years old, pretty accurately. He was 27. He was an amazing, good natured man. I don't think I ever worried about anything when he was around. And ever since my reading, it's just like a sense of peace, a sense of calm that I'm feeling. I miss him so much, but yet I know he's with me all the time. Teresa really, really confirmed it. I look at everybody as a believer, and at the end of every reading, they tell me they're, they were skeptical when they, when they first came in. Well, everybody's a believer in their soul. Their mind will always question. And I believe my gift is to prove there is no such thing as death. It's an illusion. I'm not a small, not a large, I'm a medium. <laughs> I always wanted to be a medium. Get it, I'm a large. <laughs> Did you ever see the movie Ghost with Sam? I'm Whoopi, how you doing?